Yes, guys, welcome back to the Once You're In, You're In podcast. We have a, another special guest episode coming to you. Very special. Really Very special. special. Really special. special. Incredibly special, special guest. <laughs> um, we have Mr. Josh Jenkins. So this is Reese's Boyfriend. assistant coach, co-coach. <laughs> that's, that's my role, Never. mate. Um, yeah, mate, give us, a, give us an intro. Um... Hi, I'm Josh. All right, mate, you don't you There shout. you go. Don't, don't, don't shout, all right? Not shout. Sure. People's ears will be gone. Yeah. So, this is how special. <laughs> <laughs> this is how Josh talks normally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, guys. So, um, so hi, I'm uh, Josh, um, as you probably can tell. Um, been coached by Reese for three years? Yeah, mate. Oh, it three has, years, three years, yeah. Was it March? Is it when's, when's Start that? Start of three? March. Oh, mate, we're almost coming up to our three-year anniversary. Yeah. yeah. No, that'd be quite cool. Yeah, yeah. celebrate with anal. Why did... <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a great right. first minute. Yeah, fantastic start. Right, so we'll have a chat about that. Actually. Um, anal. Why... Yeah, about anal. anal. <laughs> yeah, we love anal. We love anal on the podcast, especially with guys. We just love that. You know, brotherly love. Um, right, why did you apply? What was um, your... It was from Jamie. It's Smith, from Jamie it? Smith. And yeah. now um, now he sends me TikToks all the time. What does it? Yeah, he sends TikToks. I've got one in red from like 12 hours ago. So, so come on, tell me. I, I always um, find it interesting when it's. So yeah, to... like Jamie Smith was on TikTok when he was like blowing up from just doing weird shit in lockdown. During lockdown, yeah. Yeah. And then I thought it was quite funny. Yeah. Um, started following him. He got coached by you. I followed you off that. Applied. I think I found the application on the application now on like the application forms. I found it from like fucking years ago, and it was like four o'clock in the morning. I was like, "What the fuck was I doing at four o'clock?" That's when you were in a dark place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were in a dark, dark place. place. <laughs> you just like, oh, I'm gonna move. It was me with like, like, a bottle of vodka, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, you just yeah, you sat there. You've lost a few games of FIFA, and you're like, "I need to turn my life around. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? I need to get a coach." Because mate, you were a bit of a mess. Like, yeah, I probably was. Still are. I still have it. Yeah, in some ways, I still have a mess. No, you were a lot better, but you. But it's a lot more organized mess now. Yeah, yeah. You're like Darwin Nunes. Yeah. Chaos. I it's like a bit of chaos. Though. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. That's you. But when you when you signed up, you were in a very different sort of spot. <laughs> like I, I remember, because you were always really polite, but it was like Jesus Christ, this guy's got not issues. Yeah. It wasn't issues, but it was like there's a few things that were just like you, the way you perceive situations was yeah. awful. Yeah. Like, but you were always very polite with it. But I was like, I can just tell that he's got a few like one thing would go wrong, and I was like, just shit. Yeah, chill, and I'd be like, oh, fuck, fine. Fuck. I remember like, even when like, I'd send you a voice note like, after a session, I'd be like, this didn't go well. Yeah. But everything else did was a shit session. But I, I eat, like, eat, I don't want to say I do it now, but like that's common though. A lot yeah. of people are like that. It's immaturity. Yeah. It's like it's what happens. No, but when it was you're though because it's almost like I was what eighteen when yeah. I applied. That's so, mad. but it's like I know that's not like you're really immature. But then like compared mate, to like no, now, no, in eighteen for a lot. Like mate, most people Depends, probably into yeah. like it's not just the numerical yeah. age. It's like your mental age. Yeah. Yeah. Some which people was probably like. 12 then. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like 15 yeah now, now at least you <laughs> yeah, can, it's gone down you can function in social settings before it was like right Josh what are you I don't think I can say? I think I'm just like calm but I'm just like I don't care <laughs> so we'll move so you applied that was what 2020 20, 2021 2021 yeah. where were your intentions did you want to compete um, no I was going to uni yeah and then I was still like I was doing like what was I doing at A level like criminology law sociology shit like that so yeah. nothing to do with like fitness even though I wanted to be a PT beforehand but then I was like I kind of want to go into law and stuff like that then I did really well at A levels and I was like I still don't want to do it Yeah. so I was like I still want to be PT still want to coach in some sort of way but I couldn't do what I wanted to do at uni because yeah. I didn't have like some sort of science or something yeah. so it was like you either go to uni and you do like I think it was like a two year foundation course we yeah. have to still pay nine grand I was like I'm not paying fucking eight, 18 grand for yeah. GCSE science I've already done so I was like, I just want to start getting into like PT and coaching, started all that, which I probably should have started earlier because I knew I yeah. wanted to do it. And started posting more on like social. Because I remember like even like till back end of 2021, I probably had nothing on my social media. I didn't post at yeah. all, but I was like, that's what I want to do. And I remember it was the check-in after your first show. I was like, how do I do it? Like, how do I get into it? She sent yeah. me like a 20 minute check-in, basically just give me advice. I was like, while, okay, I'm While I was in prep. Yeah, yeah, I was, wasn't I? Because I remember you telling me you were like you were prepping and you were like, Reese, why are you giving me this much time?" And I was yeah. like, "Because you asked me a good question." Like, you... yeah, basically, I was just only checking that day. You were really fucking bored. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, my first prep were like that, that March period. That was honestly, I remember. I feel, I I gained, remember, I feel like you got a lot. Yeah, of I gained that like time, ten clients yeah. in a month, and it was because it was like we went into lockdown. Jamie's stuff was doing well, and I had like I feel like you got a few well. from Jamie, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. I had yeah. like literally five to ten, and it was like because I was finishing uni that year. Yeah, like two or three months later, and I remember like being sat at Christmas, like thinking. Am I 
I going to do this in six months? Like, am I yeah. going to? I'd need to get another 20, 30 clients to be mm. like, oh, I'm actually pretty good at this. Mm. Like, I've got a good income. I'm enjoying it. Like, I was always enjoying it. But it was a case where, like, that March period, I remember, like, you applied, Ethan started up. Metcalf, yeah. yeah like, around the same sort of time. And it was like, I remember. I'm trying to think of it. I feel like. Stan started Jack, from I feel like he started around that time. Was a bit. That later. was a little bit later. Okay, yeah, that was a bit later. But then, like, how you get like those yeah. little you get like, like a brief. Yeah, no, it was literally perfect. I did that. Went into prep because a lot of people just... applied the same sort of time. Yeah, because like you know when you made like your team our feature. Yeah, there was a lot of people who it's not like you know like age groups in school where like you yeah. all gel with like we all kind of gelled with like when people would apply. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah. No, and it yeah, is. you know that how yeah. long you've been in the yeah, team yeah, and yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, because I know, like, if I was to look about, like, I know Jack's on, like, 125 check-ins. I know Stan's on, like, 145. Yeah. And I think you'd be on, like, 147, 8, like, around yeah, there. Yeah, 150 So, like, something. around that sort of point, like, I have, like, probably, maybe 10 lads that are all very yeah, similar, yeah. but it's, like, 130 to 150. Yeah. And it's all, like, the same. You all kind of seem to get on, mm. coach you for a long period of time. And it kind of segued nicely. But when you started, like I said, you didn't really want to compete or anything. No, I didn't. And then, like, I started... Obviously, training better, and then at the same time, obviously, your training was never that bad. It I wasn't, but it was, you didn't, I didn't experience re- the classic. My trainings, like you didn't go from training shit to like training good. Your your training, I remember, like I say to you, mate, you have more, and you'd get like really annoyed at yourself because you let yourself down, but you still had like yeah. you had one rep in reserve on a leg press. Like better yeah. than you did today. To yeah, yeah, way yeah. So you've gone backwards. <laughs> gone backwards. Up with that. No, but like your your training for somebody who had only just started was like I remember thinking. I was quite like open minded because I was like yeah. all I'd ever done was what I wanted to do and like what I'd seen other people do. So I was like, oh, sound just do that. So yeah. it like, when it was like someone just telling you what to, do, I was like, well, sound well, you're telling me what to do. Yeah. So I'm just going to listen. Like it makes yeah. no sense not to. Yeah. That's that special aspect of you. Like yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> that makes sense though. I have yeah. clients like who are like I just don't understand why. You wouldn't just do yeah. as he's asked. Yeah. No, and like, I, I, I've said that. I, I, I think I've said that like recently. Time and money into it. Yeah, like I've had people, and they're like saying that, like, um, like they've been slightly on plan, but not fully on plan. But I'm like, why wouldn't you? Like, yeah. you're paying for something for you to me to basically do it's all the time. People like to have it as a crutch, so they'll go, "Well, I've got a coach," so it's like. It's like when people have a PT. Yeah. I've got a PT, yeah, yeah. and then it's like they almost that in their head means that they're doing something, they're yeah. bettering themselves. Yeah. It's like it doesn't matter if you've got a PT if you're not turning up to the sessions or yeah. if you're not sticking to your meals. That's like, the thing, like in theory, you could have not I don't want to say the shittest coach in the world or anything like that. But if you just adhere to it, you probably make some sort of progress. Oh definitely. Yeah. yeah. Like even if a coach is horrendous, just, st- yeah, stick just to listen what, to any no, coach. No, what if they were like don't train. Yeah, no. <laughs> Deload <but> every <laughs> second day. Yeah. That's what you see loads of shit. Food. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Finn gets Will Burton. You do it every five weeks. Time. And Finn's been deloaded for like a month at this point. Yeah, Ed, Ed, Ed deloaded three weeks ago. He's doing the body now. <laughs> imagine being, imagine, did, what, did, is that what Ed said? He was no, like, he was, he's going on holiday and he was like, I think it makes more sense to take like time off now. And I was like, I say, you could really. just, you could just, I don't know, take time off on your holiday. Imagine, imagine, imagine that. Imagine being drink. like, I was saying to a client. Who's Ed anyway? Millie's yeah, boyfriend. Yeah. Millie, <laughs> Millie's boyfriend. Ah, oh, Millie's boyfriend. So, He's no. the dude that turns up my house every morning. I, I find that funny. Like, mate, don't one say of, that. That'll be, yeah, be out of context. No, I, find, <laughs> I, I do find it funny. Imagine being like, hey, mate, I think we're going to deload soon. And the guy goes, oh, I've actually deloaded two weeks ago. I just didn't tell you. Imagine that. You'd be like, hey, bro, I actually took a week off. I just didn't tell Ed doesn't actually do that, I don't think. No, we don't. We don't know. <laughs> he might do. The thing is, though, you don't know. Like I said to a client today, like, well, he only sent me through one training session. I was like, you are training more than one time a week, aren't you? I was like, yeah. I, I sometimes yeah. do have to really question clients, because like, yeah. you can yeah. tell the ones who are putting the work in and the ones who are making the most oh, no, progress. I, I, like, I'm not, I'm not going to name the name. I don't coach him anymore. But there was someone who was 20 kilos down and probably looked about <laughs> half a kilo yeah, down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I look at it, I'm like. You sure? Like, really, mate? Are you yeah. sure? But it's how, mad. Like, yeah. Why on earth would you do that? Like, you're just yeah. kidding yourself and you're kidding the coach. Like, like, and the thing is, yeah. as well, like, you're not. We're not stupid. Like, yeah, you can see when someone's lost enough weight. Yeah. It's like you're ten kilos down, but you look the exact same. Yeah, you definitely you know? haven't. On the, I've got yeah. some clients who they pull off like five kilos and they look so yeah, much yeah, better, yeah. or like yeah. the advertisers, they're so much better. And then some people are like twenty kilos down, like you're just lying. Yeah. You're fucking taking the piss. It's, it happens. So we'll carry on. So you signed up, you started, got training into a good groove. Yeah. You came to first time we ever met was my first show. First show, yeah. And I was so, like, fucking, are you skinny? Yeah, I was skinny, <laughs> wasn't I? Skinny. Yeah. But what was your what, so? Again, you didn't really want to compete, but you just thought oh, I was like, "Oh, this is just support. cool." Because I was like, "I'm going into like," because I was like, I, "That was after I left sixth form." So yeah. it's like I was almost like going into like a different sort of shit, a uh, different thought of something in my life. Anyway, so yeah. I was like, "Oh, I'll just do this." Yeah. It's a bit different. Where, what were you thinking afterwards? Were you like, "I want to do that"? Cause no, I was like, "Oh, that's actually." No, I remember I left. I was like, "Oh, that was." Just, 
quite cool. I wouldn't yeah. mind doing that. But yeah. I still didn't know if I was going to compete or anything. Yeah, because at that point, like, you were you were natty. Still are now. Yeah. Like, he's, yeah, he's, he's, I ducked to Salah. Yeah. You're quite good, right? I'm You're quite good. You're quite good. You're quite good. knows how you're quite good. No idea with that leg press. Just fucked so But, yeah. yeah, so you came and you were like, I remember because we didn't speak about, Comran had already come and he was prepping the next year yeah he was prepping the next year yeah, yeah Comran came yeah, Comran was yeah, there yeah. and like I remember Comran being like that's sick bro I, want, I need to go yeah. up there and then like because I, I, I didn't mention it to any clients like no. you asked me and I told you but I didn't mention it to any client watch yeah. I was just like oh I'm just competing in September because I didn't want it to be a whole no, no, you, loads of no, people you did, come you did say I know on the podcast. Tom He's... Taylor came he yeah. looked uh, he watched I know one of my clients now Luke when I had a few clients that signed up who went to that show yeah. but like I didn't put it out and it was literally more so a case of like I'm just competing I don't think too much yeah. of it it's just my first show that's it I didn't really know anything like I yeah. remember you know after you came off stage yeah and when was it did you sit next to my mum did you say no I sat, I sat like down the road from Con, down the road okay. from Conran but I didn't okay. really know Conran was, that was I think that was Danny because when they were on the podcast yeah okay um, but I saw your mum there yeah didn't say anything because I was a fucking pussy <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> too, too socially awkward. Still am. Yeah, you talk to guys. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. I can't speak to females. <laughs> I'm, never, I'm, I'm, 20, I'm 22 fuck and I've no. never spoken to a female. I'm 21. I've like, like, got a few months. Okay, fair I don't enough. look it. I've got about 30. So, um, went to the show. What yeah. do you think? You, like, what, was, it, what was your I, head after that? Like, I oh, feel my. like everyone says the same. Like, even people like, you know, Leon who came to my show. Yeah, yeah. He said the exact same thing as what I said to you or like to anyone about it. I was like, oh, that was just a lot different than what I thought it would be. Yeah. Because if you've never really been into bodybuilding or anything like that, you probably think it's some fucking weird. That was my first episode. Yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd never been it, it, Like it is like, it yeah. is very I don't want to say it's homosexual, but it, it kind of is. The, oh, the thought, no, the thought of, wait, it's not even, it thought of standing in shorts or a thong. Oh, get, being you, getting judged. your tan the yeah, night before, like, that is a bit weird. Yeah, no, it's very odd. I think you get used to it, like yeah. those sort of things, but the thought of it is a lot worse. It is a weird sport. Yeah. I, I saw yeah. my sister the other day, and obviously it's like the, one of the first times I've properly seen her since my show. Yeah. And she was like asking me a question. She was like, why this? And I was like, I didn't even have the answer. I was like, it's just the sport. Yeah. Like, why, why do you shave? Like, no, but, yeah, but at the same time, though, like, when like you go there, it's any like, sport, it's, got it's quite sound. Like It's quite chilled in yeah. the sense that like, you kind of like, Especially probably for like you two, you go to any show and you know a lot of people there. I didn't at that point. I knew yeah. one person backstage. The one, really? Yeah, people Tyler. Know us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, I, no, no. I no, but like, like now, for example, if you were yeah. to turn up at a PCA show, like, oh, yeah. and even like when I was at like, you know, the um, NFM show, the last yeah. show I did, like afterwards, I was still chatting to people for like half an hour, an hour yeah. or so. Because you just ran, you just naturally hey, are you know sure? People. You were binging. Oh, yeah, we need to speak it. about that. No, we don't. <laughs> his day after um, his prep. Fucking hell. That was good. <laughs> yeah, that was an impressive day. But yeah, it's it's community, it's a community driven sort of thing yeah. where once you're into it, like it's very you're in once you're into hell. it, once you're into it, you're in. Mate, you you really missed out on that. Yeah. You, you looked at me like <laughs> what? What have <laughs> I done wrong? <laughs> but you, just say what you're in. You get into it and it's like the the thought of the the perception when you're not in the actual circle, when you're not in, yeah, is different to when you're in. <laughs> so when you're in you actually like you're you realise yeah. you're in and you, you're like oh, this is actually no, what it bodybuilding is, is. It's, it is a very strange sport yes. but so like, it's also when one where like, you know everyone anyway like yeah. for the most part anyway like it's almost like you know when you're in school and like you kind of know everyone who's in your year but different schools and like, wherever you live yeah, yeah. I felt that's kind of like bodybuilding you kind of know people in like different gyms yeah or like when you played football or yeah. Yeah. social media yeah yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, so then I was like, oh, that's actually quite sound. I wouldn't mind doing it. And then my gym was like kind of bodybuilding, kind of not. So there was people. You were training at Pure originally, weren't you? Yeah, that was because the gyms in Wales weren't open. Okay. Yeah. So I was traveling to Bristol to train yeah. at Pure Gym because I didn't know what the grow room was. Yeah. I but I probably would have trained at the grow room. Yeah. Um, then I started training out of UFIT when. Because you originally had to be 18 to join. Okay. No, you don't have to. There's loads of fucking kids in there. Okay. Um, Oh, I bet you love that. Yeah, it's fucking fantastic, mate. That's what I That's why I get really switched on for a set. <laughs> Free set of rolls is fantastic. Um, no, um, but yeah, that was like a few people who were like prepping anyway that year, the people who prepped before. And I found it like quite interesting because it was almost like what I'd see on social media from like yourselves or something like that yeah. was it'd be quite similar to then what I was doing at home. So I was like, oh, it sounds, it's not that weird. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then... A few months later, you were just like, Josh, you need to go on gear now. I didn't say uh, that at all. No, it wasn't like that. Mate, it was like in, it was Sorry, a start. Of, all his yeah, no, it I've was, got a question about that as well. It was 2022, wasn't it? It was no, like. It was, it was on the way to City PSG. Yeah, I and you were the one who mentioned it. I did not I was like, oh, at all. What would you say if I, if I was to be like, I want to go on gear? 
and you didn't say no. And he got it out of his pocket. I was like, yeah. bang! I just went, mate, it's fantastic. I was like, I thought you'd never ask. I was like, I got Tess, Mast and Trend. Is yeah, that, she started is that... crying. Yeah, and then I was like, right, just turn around, and just close your eyes, it'll be over in a minute. And I gave him his first shot for free, and then I was yeah, like, right, buddy. Yeah, but then he me, it was yeah. over in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then I was like, right, buddy, you want a bit more? You, know, you have to start paying for this. And then I started getting him, you know, hooked. But no, so that was He's like, well, that was... Yeah. <laughs> That's actually his main job, doesn't actually coach. He's fit 10. <laughs> Quanta. Christ. So, yeah, we, we were going to the football game that yeah. was I can't remember when but let's say it was the start of 2022 so no, it, was, it was back end wasn't it yeah so you've been coached at this point for about a year like it was yeah coming up to a year and then yeah. it was end of January yeah. start of Feb and I was like I asked you about it again and because I initially was like I was quite I remember what, exactly where we were we were walking to the stadium I, I, do you, I we, thought we were driving. I remember we spoke about it on the walk. I remember that. I think, yeah. But it was like the, the main walk, you can see the stadium. And I kind of said, like, this is what I think you could do. This is how things are. This is what we should do. Realistically, I'm not against it, but I think you should have a think. It shouldn't be something yeah. that you go for. I was like, let's just yeah. get you into a good groove. You're making good progress. Yeah. I was like, if that's where your head is, it makes sense with where you want to be taking things. Yeah. And I was like, and I knew genetically you weren't bad. Like, it wasn't mm. where, like, you got good shape, you, you had good insertions. Waste doesn't waste is fucked. No, but you, mate, yeah. you're wasting that. You're wasting now that you've actually got some quads looks like small. It's just, it's okay. yeah, it's just you need to show more quads and actually have some adductors. But yeah, fantastic. I knew that it was a case where, like, you've got potential within what you want yeah, to do. Yeah, and it wasn't a case where, like, I was completely, like, slack with, like, I was like, oh, I, I just oh, trained no. five times a week. I, do, I trained three. My, my no. food was all over the post. I was like, I was already doing everything that in my opinion you should be doing before yeah. you even think about taking anything yeah and then i was like realistically i don't really care for doing anything else i have absolutely zero social life i don't really go out so i was pretty dialed in everything else so i yeah. was like if it's something which i want to do and i want to be all right at yeah in well not last year the next following year maybe the next time i prep maybe this year mate that's what you're saying mm, i want to yeah, next year do not prep this year <laughs> what you're thinking about prepping this year. Me, he, me mentioned it. No, you were the one who mentioned it. You're like, right, it's the last year. thing you need to do. You need time to grow. <laughs> no, you definitely your age. I, it's. I, I, I spoke about it the other day to someone. I was like, I want to do a show. I don't want to prep. Yeah. So I enjoy the show aspect. But that yeah. was fun. That was brilliant. That's Jack Eagles. <laughs> yeah, prep every year. No, 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 no just jump on stage year. really fast. Yeah, oh, I remember that. Yeah. Um, start of twenty two. Um, so jumped on gear. Um, how did we do things? What did you do? Got bloods. Uh, got bloods done. FSH and NH was fucked already, so I was like, right, I can't have kids regardless, so it's fine. Um, no, that's not the case. They were a bit like low, but it was yeah. fine. Um, then started off like 250 tests, was yeah, it? I think, yeah, 200 or 250. Your natural test wasn't low, like considering no, it was, like, it was 22. Yeah. 22. Yeah. And then yeah, 250 yeah, put it to about 50, 40, something like that. Yeah. Um, we, we spent a long time. Yeah, on like a ages. Very, and very then low I went, went on a holiday in June, so we did like. A very aggressive pullback for that, and then you got in a fight on that holiday. That was the one that you got a black eye. <laughs> no, that was back. I forgot about that. that was back in the year. No, someone just that was. We'll get to that in a minute. Too much test. Yeah, <laughs> someone actually did try to scrap me on that holiday. Though. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, then we put in mass down of our for like four weeks, which did, it wasn't really much point. Yeah, um, that was that was accentuated by you. You were like, let's just yeah, let's just let's see how cool I think we say that like pretty much like two hundred to three hundred milligrams for like four or five months. Oh yeah, no, you didn't no. make really any. It was like the escalations were like, oh, you've no first escalation was really, like halfway through July. Yeah, you'll be like you were, you're progressing at a really good rate. You don't need more. Yeah, and it's funny now. I see loads of people start their first cycles and they're already at like five hundred milligrams within even like a month or two. A few like applications we've had and they're like, oh yeah, my first cycle I've done six hundred tests. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's, it's fucking stupid. Um, but then no, then basically stayed not not stayed on, but like gradually escalated things. Got bloods done midpoint of twenty twenty two, yeah, and everything was sound. Carried on, and then we had our sights set on twenty twenty three to compete. Yeah, I was yeah. I was thinking about twenty twenty four anyway. Yeah, but then like I remember you almost said to me like, "No, you said twenty twenty three, just do fucking twenty three. Yeah. So my head was like, "But that's normal, especially yeah. when you're young in in the game of like, I could have easily. I could oh no, I was being a pussy. Yeah, I could have competed at twenty two. Like yeah. at 22, I competed at 22 years yeah. of age, but I could have competed the following year still as a junior. Yeah. And I remember like, cause I said to Finn, Finn's competing, I'm going to do next year. And it was where I just was like, well, I'm going to do it now. I've said it. But you, yeah. I remember you were a bit like, maybe I'll wait. Maybe yeah. this. People always like want to just be better. So it's yeah. like, I'll just maybe wait a year, wait a year. And then like you think. That's it. Oh, I feel I'll like just... you, if 
eventually you just need to say no I'm going to do it because otherwise you're never going to be like, Rich, you're never going to be that happy with how you look you're like oh this could be better that could be better oh, you, even if you were to have waited yeah. like five years there's going to be things that you could have been so much better yeah. with there'll be things and let's say just how you look there's always going to be improvements that's yeah, what the 100%. game of physique development is so that's into but it's back into 2022 like made a lot of progress you got a black eye night out got a black Last eye night, night out. out yeah got, got beaten up uh, any wins with any girls in this situation no let's move on none <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so no, uh, no girls, uh, just pure rejection. Um, yeah, that was 2022, summed up now. No, 2022, there was a few. Really? Yeah. This is news to me. <laughs> you mentioned one on a video, remember that? Do you have the video at Premiere? Do you still, yeah, I do you still speak to her? No, I saw her the other week, actually. L. She got cheated on. Uh, L. <laughs> L for you, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Josh held uh, no bitterness towards this individual. So carrying on to so 2023. 2023. Yeah, we competed. We did three yes. shows. We did. We did three. Did you do, did two? Yeah, we did three. Yeah, we did three. Yeah, three. Yeah. yeah. Feels weird that doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. It was like I feel like again it's quite it's quite obvious for people that know Josh, but like we were in a very very good. Everything went. Perfect. I think my prep was perfect till September. <laughs> yeah. I like, genuinely. I remember yeah. I looked through at photos at like, the other day. Um, because obviously on our chat, you've got every single photo I've ever shown you. Not on yeah. my camera, I've deleted some of them. Yeah. Um, but the ones where like, it was just after like, I think it was my secondary feed, like maybe end of October, start of September. Yeah. And I was like, I looked sound. Yeah. But then we were almost like, oh, you could be a touch leaner. Then I remember I I clocked it like about a month ago. I went onto the sheets and just seen how body weight was. I dropped like three kilos in like a week, yeah. two weeks out. Yeah. And at the time I was like, oh sick, I look so much leaner. I was like, no, you look fucking shit. No, it's funny, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it was up. really, it was, it was such a weird. But you're, at that point, I was like, no, I, want, I need to do more, need yeah, to do more, need to do more. Yeah, you're, you it, it was, it was, yeah. a, it was a combination. I think the, the vast majority of it. So we started prep. Let's let's have a bit of a chat beforehand. So we started fat prep. Bastard. Fat bastard mode. Awful, but, mate. Let's be real. You were soft, yes, but we knew you you dropped weight quick because yeah. we did the pre prep little diet back towards the back in twenty twenty two. And it was I also it wasn't a case where like if you told me to do cardio, I was going to do it. Like it wasn't like you you were itching and. I, I have clients that say that they go just tell me what I need to do and I'll do it and I'm like yeah, yeah but that's not the point yeah. Like, yeah. the point is that you shouldn't have to dig that hard yeah. and lose three yeah. kilos every week I remember saying so distinctively yeah, yeah. like at the start I was like no you'll be fine we had plenty of time we started when was it was it May Back, it was April? Like last day of April okay yeah so last day of April pretty much into May and I remember you were like 100, 103, 104? 105 and a half 105 and a bit and oh, no, in that like week of a pullback I dropped like two kilos yeah I knew you, you mate it's it was going to be not 3 pounds is it <laughs> What is 105? Isn't that similar? No, it's not. That's like 220. It's not far off. Yeah. It's not quite. God, not, but I'm either way, you, you were soft. You were soft, but like. I, I was fucking no, obese. No, you weren't that fat. Mate. I, mate, I was. Mate, you're only like three, four kilos off now. You're not that bad. <laughs> I'm eight kilos off now and I actually look alright somehow. Yeah, but anyway, so we, we got. I look worse than you two have ever looked. Not a thing. Mate, no. Even even the photo I put on my Finn, story. Finn, the Finn Kelly off season is Peak off season. There's, there's a right. there's a photo and you put it on your story. Randomly, I still fucking hate you for this. Yeah. I got a random story tag at like start of, start of June, and I'm like, what the fuck's Reese done now? I, I didn't even I didn't e I didn't even message in this. This is like a mess that's five weeks old. It's just a photo of me as a fat bastard for no reason. No, no, at I, just all. Put, no I just put like spilled over from his <laughs> yeah. plan, The thing is, I was like, did I send you that? No. You just put it on a story anyway. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I was actually pissed off. I didn't reach out for a solid five minutes. I had to go for a walk. <laughs> I was actually really fucking, head, 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 I, I'm not gonna I was really pissed. His off. head was on Mars. Was like, Sam, yeah. mate, there's a real <laughs> like, you, fu- we'll find the photo. You're a fucking bastard. <laughs> we'll send it to you. So, I'll send you the story as well. No, that's and you know the worst thing is the second I reshared it, a fucking bird shot on my top as well. You don't, I remember that actually. Yeah, bad, bad was, look. Uh, that was a really bad day. Yeah. So prep started, dropped a lot of body weight. You yeah. look, mate. You looked awesome at like eighty-five kilos. It's such I look a shame. Fucking sick. You're, you're no, very mate, genuinely back at no, back you end do, of you like. Look eight, really good. Like, 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 you know when people are like messaging you, and like they said, "Oh, you're gonna do so." I didn't read into it once until yeah. a day out, and I was like, "Oh, shit, some people actually want me to do well. No. You think I'm gonna do well?" I no. got obviously people know we're close um, in many ways. Many yeah, ways. but I've I probably got more messages off you off people than like, yeah. anybody I've ever coached. Like. Yeah. And obviously, for objectively, I've had clients have done better than you. Yeah. But like eight weeks out, I remember being on holiday and I was like, Josh. It was when I trained mint. at the groom, wasn't it? Yeah, I was like, Josh looks mint. That He's was in the, a really good decent. spot. You and jumped into early shows when you think. I, it was I, the I, first time a show. That's the, and the, the, thing the is, issue I remember, is you weren't stage conditioned. No, but you I feel very like close. I went to PCA Wales yeah. and there was one of the dudes in the class. And I was like, don't get me wrong. I don't really want to do a show with this woman or the person in there. But yeah. I was like. I looked, well, obviously, you know now when you go look better when you're yeah. going to look worse. But I was like, if I'd done that, mm. 
that probably would have first of all got stage experience wouldn't have been to be fair I wasn't nervous on stage anyway no, you were no, very before. confident on stage which yeah. was good um, but like at least we know the next time it's like I don't have to like it's, it was, it, I think it was a combination say, of things you know when you say like you weren't in stage condition I've I've said that and we've said that at times yeah. but a lot of the time when but you I look back, back now I looked leaner at 85 than I did at like you 74 yeah. you looked more alive yeah, yeah. you weren't no leaner, but like but... like muscular wise I looked just harder well that's but what like, really bodybuilding isn't just like you yeah it was a bit it was so how, much yeah. Yeah. what is stage condition yeah. like yeah. it's not a there's not a certain you're not in stage condition so you can't step on stage no. there's not a certain number or yeah. body fat percentage you have to be like you can step on stage however you want yeah like and for some people stage condition you actually look worse like yeah. i yeah. looked worse yeah. at my lightest than i did in the earlier shows yeah but in the earlier shows i was thinking i need to get leaner because i've it was not like, got you know as many you, lines like, you know when you did like your could. men's physique show like you look very very good and then it was like the a1 show where you almost like just died off a little bit yeah Do you know what i mean the B- but the bmbf like i I remember thinking I looked shit at that show, but looking back, I was like really full, and like, yeah. I actually looked pretty good. And then I look at like the the UK FBA was like a good balance of both, but still by that point I was like pretty trashed. But yeah. like I think placings though play a fact. Like I remember yeah, you when think, oh, like when I'll you came you second at your first PCA show yeah. last year, you were like, oh, I looked fucking awful. Like even I like I remember like, it was the first time in like what two years by that point I actually had to tell you to just shut up and just like you were being a fucking idiot because yeah. you were like oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to think, I don't know what to do. And I was like, no, but if you had got Glaze and you had won and you just lost in the overall to, who was doing it? Sheridan. Sheridan, yeah. It's like, say you just lost that. Yeah. You would have been fine. Yeah. It was, it's just, if something doesn't go the way that you initially wanted or hoped when you're pretty shagged. Yeah, it's hard to, it's very hard to mentally kind of recover at times. Like you almost like one thing goes and you're like, oh fuck. And then another thing. And it's like, it kind of, it, it has that kind of bearing where like, I think a lot of your stress was more so internalized where the amount of times that like you 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 became very over reliant upon people around you, me yeah, included, hundreds, yeah, and it was where you'd wake up and it was like I remember so much. It was like seven a.m. Like I, I was literally, like six. yeah, it was like six o'clock, and you like, sent me a voice fucked. note, and I was like, and what I, do you mean? Yeah, and I was literally like every reply was within like 20, 30 minutes, and it was like or at most, but most of the time I was like on my phone at that time. Yeah, like when you like, when you're away, it was fantastic. Yeah. I remember I used to wake up at six, and I'd reply, I'd already message, or even leave the house. You'd be like, oh yeah, do an arrow call. And I remember I have to message you so quickly, and I'd be like, Josh, please, like just it's six a.m., bro. Like what the fuck? You, like you yeah. don't know how the day is going to be. Oh no, 100%. and everyone around you. Like I know I had Ethan. Uh, I remember Ed telling me. Um, Ed, Ed, Millie's boyfriend. Millie's boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> just like that. Like saying to me, like this is what Josh is saying. This is how things are. And I remember I had to, I had to be so honest with you. Yeah. Like, Josh, you've got to get a fucking grip. Yeah. But when you're in that moment, you don't realize. No, no, you, know, you, you don't. I remember there was there was one day, and I remember I sent you a voice note. It was, it was about a week after Connor's show. Yeah. And I was like, I'm fucking dying. I'm on my ass. And yeah. I was like, I, re- I I didn't listen to it back, but I remembered the message of the week. I was like, what the fuck was I on about? Yeah. Like, but, it, but, back, but even saying like, things like that, I'm like, that's not going to benefit me at all by saying yeah. that. Looking back, do you like? Do you think I I, I didn't like how I conducted myself? Or no, oh, like yeah, 100%, 100%, like, yeah, yeah. Because I wouldn't recommend that to someone now. Like if, for example, clients of which I'll prep or anything like that. Yeah. I wouldn't say that's a good thing at all because the more that you almost like open up to it and say, oh, I feel bad, I feel this, I feel that, yeah. like the worse you're just gonna like yeah. interpret it. I feel yeah. like that. Like after yeah. the A1 show, when I actually started thinking about how yeah. I felt, I actually think that was the worst thing for me. It wasn't because yeah. I needed to like, yeah. but otherwise yeah. I'd have ended up like pushing everyone away. Yeah. But it also like that kind of changed. So I remember you that, that podcast you did out, like, after the A1 show was like night and day difference from, to be fair, both of you, I reckon, from yeah. the, like, the podcast before. Because yeah. like, I remember you said you couldn't have said anything because it wasn't like your place. But then yeah. like Finn was like, oh shit, like I look so much better, I feel so much better because I've just de-stressed a little bit. I'm just yeah, listening. It's a lot of it's sometimes. mental. That was Nin- like, 95% yeah. of it's mental. The week after that was the best, yeah. best I've ever looked because yeah. like, yeah. the stress has dropped. I was really full. I felt fresh. Training was really fun. Yeah. Like, I was actually talking to Shannon. I think that's another thing. Like, I think training wise because after... Yeah, your training was wank. My like, training was... No, no, no. My training was bang on until end of August start of September yeah. like it was really good I remember like I'd still go into the gym and be like okay what did I get last week Sound want to beat it and I did yeah. and then as soon as I died a little bit because I remember after that after that PCA Wales show which I went to I remember I said to Ethan I was like I'm gonna. Feel, I reckon, I'd feel like I'm gonna feel a bit shit this week, and yeah. I did, and it was worse than I thought. Why are you yeah. saying that? Yeah. that? That's what I mean. That's yeah. what I mean. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but I was like, no. 
in my mindset, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to feel though. shit. Yeah. And then I did, but I felt worse than I thought I was going to do. So yeah. I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym and tick the box and go home. Yeah. And like a session that would usually take me an hour and a half, even in prep when like you are a bit like quicker with things, would take yeah. me like 45 minutes. Yeah. And then those build up and your sessions, like obviously you can still be quick and have a good session, but it wasn't a good session. It was shit. Yeah. Like it was wank. Um, and you're thinking, oh, Sam, I moved a bit of blood around. I got a decent pump, go home. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, Sam, I've still got the rest of the day to just, at that point, just fucking overthink things. Yeah. See, for me, it was like that, but yeah. it wasn't, I've got the rest of the day to overthink things. It was like, I've not got enough time to do all my steps yeah. and as much cardio as I was doing. It was like, I was I was not rushing my sessions, but like my sessions were shorter. Yeah, that's so it. I was, I I was like rushing my day as well. Like I would, I'd finish my last meal, wait like exactly 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, go to bed, but I wouldn't sleep because my body wasn't used to sleeping at 8 p.m. Yeah. I know some people do, but my body wasn't used to it. So I'd be in bed till like 11. The best, Wouldn't I think, do you remember when we went to, so let's actually talk about the shows and mm. then I'll talk about Cardiff because we went out for, in peak week, I said to you, you're coming to the escape room. <laughs> I, I said, I'm so happy I went, yeah, you said and, you'd be so happy you went. Yeah, because your reaction was like, I'm not coming to the escape room, yeah. no, I feel shit. And I was like, mate, you're coming to the escape yeah. room, you'll be back in bed by nine o'clock, I guarantee you'll feel way better on the I way did. back yeah. and the following day you'll be like, oh, I'm happy I actually did something out of my comfort yeah. zone because you get into this conditioned mindset where it's like, Everything has to be to a T, Re- really like robotic and stuff. And that is not a way to live. No, Unless 100%. you are severely out of shape and you can get away with it because you're fat. Yeah. But you weren't. You were very close. To, you were stage conditioned. Yeah, you were too skinny. You were too lean. I had the opposite of people. I got people told by, um, me, by you're doing re- Josh is looking wicked to them being like, what the fuck's up with Josh? There was got, one photo that you put on there your There was door, one and it was two days out and um, Millie's, uh, Millie's boyfriend actually, do you know Ed Rimmel? He, yeah. he said, sack <laughs> <laughs> Mate, no. you did look whole. Yeah. I remember, I, I, but I was like, the point, I was like, oh, this is going to be quite interesting. Yeah, but and we, then the we, next day, we I dropped. Revived, a, no, we revived the look quite well. I <laughs> no, like, but then I like, show you looked no, huge. No, best. no, you know, the next day, yeah. I woke up and it was like half five in the half five, and then you weren't awake. But I was like, I can't go back to sleep because I was just the time I woke up. Yeah. But you told me not to do any cardio, so I was in my room and I dropped a kilo overnight. And I was thinking, so I just put seven fifty carb in. I dropped a kilo. Yeah. I looked really fucking flat and I was like, oh, today's going to be just quite interesting. Yeah. And that was a very stressful day. Was that the day you came around and I was that like... That was the day after. Oh, the day after. The day after. And you met, you woke up around 20 to 8. Okay. And you were like... Was this when I was in Cardiff? No, the day after. The day, you got ho- the day after you got home. Oh, that's the day after I got my car crashed Yeah, into. it was the same. You crashed your car, day. went home. Yeah. And then I remember you saying you crashed your car and I was I like... Didn't I, get, I didn't get in that night till like fucking like 11. It yeah. was such a and bad you just, day. Sp- and you just spent loads of money on FIFA. Yeah, that was what I, I yeah. revived my sorrow. Yeah. I just being like, I'm spending money on fee for my car's box. <laughs> yeah. And then I remember like, I dropped a kilo and I was like, I looked at myself and I was like, I look really flat. Like I look yeah. exactly the same, if not potentially a touch worse than yesterday. Yeah. So I was like, oh, today's going to be interesting. Um, and then it was like 20 to 8 and you messaged me and you were like, shit. Um, kitchen sink protocol. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to explain? Um so what was the, what did we do in the build up to the show? So like it was Wednesday, Thursday. I saw you in person. Yeah. I, no, yeah. It was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I saw you in person. I gave you more food every single day. Yeah. I gave you more food on top of your baseline diet after seeing you in the morning. Because you were like, because, shit. yeah, I was like, fuck, and I was like, so in, you, you know, sometimes <laughs> this happens. This happens because you can't. You can only no see point certain. Yeah. Telling someone they look shit. You know, there's certain times where you just look at someone and you're like. Shit. Yeah, yeah you're bad. just better off going. Right, let's just do this. Don't yeah. don't say anything about how to look. And if so, they go, how? What do you think? You go, mate, you sound yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was the day, it wasn't the day that you videoed. I don't think, mate. I, I, I guarantee after... Sam. Sam would have had like when you left. Yeah. Sanaya and Sam were like, what the fuck? And I was like, I don't know. He's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, he's fucked. He's done. But he's, he was, because he, that, mate, we were giving you so much food, and you were just like, no, you were just so battered that it yeah, was, nothing was, was happening. I was on my ass. I was like. But I didn't even want to say, I remember, you know when you stayed at mine after Connor's show? Yeah, yeah. And I saw on your laptop, you had said to Sanaya, Josh is on his ass. I was like, no, I'm not. Not no, fucking no, not. No, I yeah. fucking was. Yeah, yeah. I felt awful. <laughs> um, but then I remember like I was walking home after I'd been to your like Airbnb and I was like, I'm still fucked. Yeah. I was like, I just feel like I'm going to feel fucked for a while. Yeah. And then the next day, um, kitchen sink protocol went in. Um, with a load of super draw that was really underdosed, which is really fantastic. Yeah. Um, you said to get me get a meal in like 20 minutes and you were like, oh yeah, put creatine in as well. I don't fucking take creatine. I don't care. Didn't have any creatine. So I had to run to B&M. 
Did you say earlier that you're doing everything possible before you start? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but then that's not even taking creatine. That's like the only thing we have. Yeah, it's like when you're taking like 800 milligrams of trend, like you really need five grams. Yeah, I was like, I don't really fuck you. Like, yeah, just put creatine. Josh is not on 800 milligrams of trend. No, 700, 700, 799. So kitchen sim protocol: superdrol, insulin. No, that was insulin was afterwards after my digestion fucked up. This and that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So superdrol. So basically, it's creatine salt. Yeah, it was Water. yeah, it was like as much salt as I could have before then, I threw up. But don't try and throw up because yeah. you'll probably look worse then. And then about what, like seven thousand, six and a half, seven. Oh, it was twelve hundred. Twelve hundred what carb? No, yeah, no, I was saying six thousand calories when they were. Oh yeah, sixty-two, sixty-three hundred yeah. calories. And I and this was like after running seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred carb. <laughs> no, 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 no. The day before was seven fifty. Okay, yeah, day before. Um, How was your midsection the next day when you posed? You mate, you were fine. Oh no, it was yeah? sound. Like when yeah. when I was training shit because I'd had like three meals by like yeah, I think we ran six meals yeah. yeah it was six meals and like I was like midday I had my first minute eight I'd already had three meals so my midsection was like a bit like fucked but at least I had my chest back yeah. kind of um, woke up the next day still pretty sound yeah. um, well that actually looked pretty sound and then the look was kind of revived for the first time in the show I think like, I honestly think you look really good yeah like, no, I, no, no, really I remember good. you know when I got off stage because yeah. I was like I was really happy. I was, you quite, stage, like, I was, I was like, going to say wow, I was arrogant in the sense that like I want to win. All I want to do is win. But I think that's kind of how anyone is really. Mate, you got second in a good lineup. No, but then I was like, like you know, what? We, we went for a walk it? and yeah. you showed me a photo. I was like, oh, sounds yeah. Like literally, like I, my mood was like, sounds perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we were just like thinking like, right, we don't want to push too hard because otherwise my physique will just die again. Yeah. So it was like almost like batter me for like three days, what, two only... days, and then a high day, like pr- like fill you up. Yeah. But then, and there was one day, because I was thinking, I need to, to be leaner, need to be leaner. You mentioned a refeed on like the Saturday, so six days later. Because yeah. you thought I was training. I was like, I'm not training, so I'm not having a refeed. Yeah. So I was a bit like, but, like That's the thing, that look how yeah. you're being, that, like that was one oh, you telling me about that. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, I'm not having one because I'm not training. But that, I looked back at the message like a day later and I was like, I look like I'm being a twat. Yeah. Because I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. Had a refeed the next day, looked sound. Um, and this is the point where we were going to do bodybuilding and men's physique in the FitX yeah, show. Fitex, yeah. you, would have, you would have won both. Yeah. Like, yeah, you would have won. Like, Which would be annoying. Even if you were like 20% worse than the first time, as yeah. you weren't going to be, you would have won. Like, so yeah. It's hard winning physique shows at FitX. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> um, but then like the next few days, because that's when I started posing in like a pair of trunks and stuff like that. Yeah. I was like, oh, sound, like I look really good. No, I remember that, yeah. Um, I remember I sent you a photo, I was like, fucking hell, I didn't think that I'd, I'd look like that and shit like yeah. that. Like, I was, granted, like, I was very small. Yeah. Because I think I'd kind of eroded away at this point. My, yeah, ducks, were, my ducks were fucked. Um, Still not good back. <laughs> they were doing a little bit. Um, but they looked, I looked sound, then it was like, you said on like the Tuesday, it was like, right, this is last day of digging. Yeah. Finished that day, and I was like, sound, done. Yeah. All that hard work. Then, prep kind of fucked up the next day. Because that was first day of feeding up, where my yeah. stomach just went bang. Rice, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. What was? Did you get a different rice or whatever? It was because normally I was just having like tilled or like, just normal brands of rice, yeah. but I couldn't be asked going to the shop. And there was a packet does, every, of rice. does everything perfectly. Yeah, and then I was like, this one time I was like, normally because everyone says don't microwave rice, then microwave it again. I've always fucking. I've always fucking. You've done that. Like, always, yeah, yeah, I've, 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 yeah. I've always done that. And then this is the one situation one out of a million time. times that it happens. And then he was like, oh, like, you weren't even a full pack. It was like 40 grams of carbs through rice. Man, on a high day, fucking hell, you coach your shit. <laughs> no. And then I was like, I remember I, like, I was eating it. I was like, sound. About yeah, the rest 10 minutes later. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then about 10 minutes later, I was like, my stomach feels a bit fucked. Yeah. Don't feel too good. And I started feeling like really like nauseous, yeah. like lightheaded. And I started like sweating those. I was like, it's a bit weird. Um, Tried to go to the toilet, couldn't go to the toilet. No. And then my stomach just started like bubbling a little bit. Yeah. And I was like, that's a bit weird. Then laid down for a bit. About 10 minutes later, I threw up, messaged you. And I was like, hey mate, I've just thrown up blood. Uh, what do I do? Uh, and then my stomach was like just really hard, but really light. Yeah. And I was like, this doesn't look too good. Um, and you were like, yeah, just run like rest day food or something to see how it is later. Yeah. I sent you some photos and my waist had genuinely doubled. Yeah, it was bad. And I was like, fuck. Um, I was like genuine at this point I was like right don't stress because at this point I was like I knew like by me stress yeah. I was actually going to look much better but I was like, thought, yeah oh, but I was like oh. don't stress don't stress don't stress went to don't bed. stress don't stress don't stress yeah don't but, stress. No, but that's literally my house yeah. like, right, don't stress don't stress don't like whatever um, went to bed woke up the next day I think I was like two kilos up and I was like 
how the fuck am I two kilos up? No, you've had like 100 carp. Yeah, like, and I was like, you're taking the fuck. You gained more weight than you gained after like 10,000 Yeah, and I was calories. like, this isn't good. I yeah. remember I was like, I went from like 74 to like 76. And granted, that's still light for me in that prep. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, I shouldn't have gained two kilos. No. Like, I really shouldn't have. I messaged you and you were like, okay, sound. No, the night before you said, okay, get some Lantus because you might have to use some yeah, to fill up. Yeah, because I knew we, we were budgeting the time to yeah. fill up. So I was like, we're going to probably Because this was to... already like three days up because the show yeah. was on Saturday yeah. and we were like, okay, shit. So I got some Lantus. Um, and the next day we were like, okay, stomach's still a bit fucked. Let's not put any food in. Yeah. So now I'm thinking, all right, okay, so this might actually die down, but by the time it dies down, you I'm going to be really to fucking up. flat. And the yeah. last time I looked flat last week, I looked, Fucking awful. Yeah, so again, more stress. So I was like, more stress. I yeah. remember right then I, I was saying to you, I was like, so I, still, I had like the Airbnb sorted in more yeah. for it. And I was like, should I go? And you're like, yeah, just go anyway. Get there. And I'm like, the whole drive, I'm fucking shitting myself. I'm like, yeah. I'd like it was, I was having a ma- like full on anxiety attack about it. Get to the ho- get to the Airbnb. Looks worse. And I was like, I'm going to kill myself. I'm probably gonna, <laughs> not actually going to kill myself. I don't advocate that at all. Um, I called you at this point. Yeah, you was... called. No, no, no. The next day you called me. Yeah. You, you sent me a voice note. You literally said, Shut the fuck up. You're yeah. being fucking annoying. <laughs> Shut up and go, oh, to, no, bed. go to bed. <laughs> I, I, I replied, <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> the next day, still looks a bit shit. At this point, I stopped weighing myself because I was yeah. like, I can't be bothered. Um, looked shit. You was like, send me photos like every hour. Yeah. Take photos every hour. <laughs> and you didn't reply to all. You just started ringing me. <laughs> You said you photos, you just get a call. No reply, just a call. You said you anyway, photos. No, he said, yeah, I sent photos. Respit, seen just now. Seen one minute ago. Phone call for Respit. Well, you just, you just looking at I was that. like, shit. And you were like, you don't look that bad. Sanaya comes in. You look fucking awful. I was saying to Sanaya, like, how do I word this? I was like, you don't look that bad, man. Like, honestly, <laughs> I, said, I said, I was like, you don't look as bad as you think you do. You're still really lean. Your legs look all right. And you're like pinching yourself to stop laughing. Yeah, no, and, I, no, and your midsection just looks a bit naff. And then Sanaya's like, you look really bad, man. I was like, thank like, you. It's hard though, isn't it? When yeah. you no, I think at that point, like, I knew show. I looked bad. I was like, yeah. I actually got, I started getting annoyed because I was like, Reese, I don't look fucking good. I look fucking I never awful. said you look good. I just said you didn't look as bad as you think. Because <laughs> objectively, I still think if you had stepped on stage, the junior, I think it would have been, he, I think, I honestly don't think it would have been. I would have come second in two. Mm, yeah, but that's not, I don't mm. think it would have been. Right, Reese came third out of three. Yeah, true. I did, I've been there as well. Yeah, yeah novice as well. <laughs> I haven't been there. Yeah. No, then like after that, I was like, fucked, fucked. I was like, not a bit pissed off, but I was like, in, weirdly in my head I was like I don't want to prep anymore yeah. but I didn't have a reason why because people had said why and I was like oh, I don't know yeah, but it was in my head, head was like, was just it was almost like I wanted to prep because I was almost like feeling sorry for myself but I didn't have like an actual reason of this is why because mm. I was like if someone said okay do you want to do the show in two weeks I'd say yeah mm. like why wouldn't I want to do it um, and then by like the weekend the bloating had like gone yeah. but I put on like five kilos overnight again and I was yeah. like at this point I was actually pissed off because I was like I've genuinely about 3,000 calories in about four days at this point. Yeah. And I was like, don't know what the fuck's going on. And then I was like, right, I'm just gonna go to the gym and just stay on the stair mass until I go hyper and then do another half an hour. So I think I did two and a half hours of cardio. Off plan cardio. Yeah, and you were like, don't do cardio, I'm yeah. sorry. Um, and then my doctor who works in the gym, which I, tra- which I was doing my cardio at, had a look at me. He was like, you might have a kidney infection. So, so saying that to someone who stresses a lot, I was like, shit. Um, had a kidney check, I was fine. Um, then he just gave me um, 30 gram vitamin C IV and then I pulled off all the water. Yeah, and then we had the PCA finals. Yeah, they were like, oh, Sam, we could do PCA finals yeah, again. Yeah, because that was like, we, we didn't, yeah. Then, uh, <coughs> no, PCA yeah, finals. We were like, Sam, we can end on this, we can look okay. Yeah. I'll get battered by Connor anyway, because he's a pretty boy. Yeah, I can't um, that show. And Finley, because he's just like incredibly more well muscled than me. Yeah. But I was like, sound, at least I can end it there. Yeah. And then. And Pat. Pat did. And Pat, well. yeah. yeah. Pat, Pat looked really good to me. Yeah, Pat, Pat looked Pat sound. Looked really good, yeah. yeah. Um, and then it was like almost like a mixture of flat, spilled, couldn't you get a pump. spilled, no, you just didn't get a pump. You just looked like tired. No, but I couldn't. Like, yeah. I no, couldn't. No, 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 too far, I did, because I was pumping up with Finley. Yeah. And I get a pump. And it would bang. just go, yeah. And it was like, I could tell that my body was shagged, but like yeah. at that point, in a way, you've kind of peaked twice in a week. So yeah. like running that much like vitamin C. And yeah, my body was like shagged. And afterwards I was like, fuck this, I can't be bothered. Yeah. And then you were like, shut up and do the show. I said do NFM, do bodybuilding, end on a high. You break. almost like, to be fair, you'll say, oh, you, you heard that you had gaslight three weeks ago, but you basically gaslighted me to, into doing that show. 
Well, of course, yeah. You don't want to. You were literally like. But I said to you, I was like, yeah. it will give you a good boost because you'll get picks. You'll do. <clears> you'll you'll look better. Yeah. I was like, you're not needing to get any leaner. I was like, mm. we can literally just reverse into it. Yeah. And the funniest thing is, you were like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Fuck off. I went home. You went home. Didn't want to do it. You voice noted to me, I'm gonna do it. Then three hours later, I'm not doing it. Then the next day, I'm doing it. I, I did have crackle. bipolar. Then four hours <clears> later, <throat> I'm not doing it. So yeah, your opinion changes every like four to five hours. I Bear in mind at this point, you're like six days out. Yeah. So yeah. this is six days from the final Oh no, show. no, but less than that. It got to the Thursday, I was like, okay, I want to do Andre's show. Yeah, yeah. And then when you actually stepped off stage, because you won and you yeah. looked good and you showed you the photos and you looked really good. Yeah. And uh, and when you got off stage, you were like literally thinking about doing another show. You were like, I remember yeah. you said about another show. And you show. said, no. I was like, no, then, I'm telling you <clears> now, <throat> stop. You're, yeah. I told you last week, carry on, do yeah. another show. No, I'm, I'm saying telling no. you now, stop. I was yeah. like, your prep's done. Um, so that was bodybuilding. You. Yeah. What was the difference between where was your head after? It was that? weird because you... I was more confident in the men's physique show. Yeah. Because what you I've done for. the poses more, planned for it. And I don't know, I just felt a lot more like cocky, arrogant, etc. Yeah. But then, like, in a sense, with the NFM show, I remember I trained legs, like, I think it was day after yeah. the finals, because you said you wanted a bit more life in them. Yeah. Didn't drop any information till about an hour out. <laughs> so I, I was like, no detail in my Perfect. quads at all. Yeah. Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I went to the perfect, toilet. And I was like, on, "Fuck yeah. it!" I put it on my close friend story, and I was like, "Shit, I've actually got detail on my quads." Should have had an anabolic bath. <laughs> yeah, did <a> Josh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Josh Campbell. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, like I enjoyed it because I was like, I was basically just yeah, buddy in it. Yeah. No, I did. I, I got the feedback was your posing routine was really well Two thought year, out. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it was it was like really well thought out, really like really like take so much time doing it. I just did my fucking check in in the first song that came up on my phone. Yeah, what was the song? Uh, song intro XX. Yeah, I just, most, I, yeah, yeah, most, yeah, yeah, most people do that. Yeah, but yeah, I think you look really good. Like you definitely at that point, had, like you were faded. Oh, was fucked. You, you weren't very vascular. Yeah. Like you looked just like you were holding like water, but you weren't holding water. You yeah. just looked tired still. Yeah. But like I saw the poses and like your side leg was really good. That like, thing is like even like we, we didn't track body weight for that week. Yeah. Did we? no. But let's if I was to estimate, I'd probably say like 78, 79. Yeah, I'd say high. But 70s. I looked leaner yeah. than like seventy six. Yeah. In a men's physique shop, but in a bodybuilding yeah, shop. That makes sense. So yeah, uh, that was that. And then so that was like prep summed up. Uh, you finished prep. What did you have to eat, Josh, on a the Sunday? Bit of food. So I said to Josh, and I, I always say to clients, I, I think I'm. If I was to say I'm good at one thing, I think like the post show management. Yeah, I no. To be fair, I would. I would say post show yeah. management because I'm. I'm very honest with all my yeah. clients, and I'll be extremely straight up. And like most of my clients, especially post prep, have handled yeah. it really well because I'll be very honest. I'll set everything up, uh, but it, I'm always going to be honest. And I said mm-hmm. to you, I think I was like, right, it's like twelve o'clock. I was like, don't eat like an idiot. But you know, in a way, evening. I'm happy. For how that day when I ended up wanting yeah, to mate, die, no, you're because then after I was like, "Sound, I feel yeah, like I don't yeah, want to." Yeah, touch you, food you, I remember you saying, like, "I don't want to eat. <laughs> I don't want to eat." So tell us, what did you do? So there was like this like cookie place, like at the show. So I got like yeah. one. I had one fell on the floor. So like you can have that as a sound. I did. To be fair, I didn't actually have two. Okay. Because they tasted of shit. So you had one cookie. Yeah, like one like brownie thing. Yeah. Probably, it's probably let's say. I'm gonna get the message up just to confirm that you've not forgotten. I'll try and remember. I'll try and remember. Yeah. There was like a chopsticks, which was yeah. fucking shit. Um, yeah, it was Domino's in the night, but I didn't finish it because I felt sick and I pretty much did throw up. Any doubles? Yeah, I didn't finish them either. Six doubles, she said. Here. Didn't finish them. It said six doubles here. Which I didn't finish. Um, bagel with a bit of whippiest. <laughs> that was nice to be fair. Okay. Um, then you also got small galaxy bar. Wasn't small, just not the mega size <laughs> one. <laughs> small, small galaxy bar. Wasn't small, just not the mega massive one. So galaxy bar, four square bars. Yeah, but they were yeah. spaced out. Okay, cup of tea with some custard creams. It was actually two. Bowl of Crave slash no clusters, about 200 grams total cereal, with whey sachet from winning stat class. <laughs> um, three win. CMP protein bars. I don't think it was three. I think I just put it around the number. It's probably, uh, probably more. Cheese toasty. Yeah. So after, after all that, what makes you go, I'm going to get a Domino's pizza? I don't know. <laughs> No, he didn't say no not idea. in order. Yeah, not in order. No, the Domino's pizza is what you finished on. No, but the, like, I, I don't even know because I had PTSD from in my off season every week would be a large Domino's two sides and something else and yeah. I'd, I'd be at my I'd be at the table for like two hours just yeah. trying to get food in because you were like just get fucking food in yeah. um, just be you're a fat cunt anyway just yeah. you know. can I say be... cunt? Yeah, yeah. we probably don't oh, say that but you're more it. than welcome uh, yeah fine yeah. Um, but yeah so I had PTSD and I was like I'm not going out for food can't be bothered got that I genuinely think I had about half of it and I was like I'm about to throw up then I did throw up and my stomach was fucked. 
And I was like, yeah, sound, I'm not food focusing. Because <laughs> <laughs> you just ate everything yeah. you've ever done. And afterwards, I, was, I remember being messaged the next day, I was like, can you give me a plan, please? Yeah. No, mate, and you were sound, like, you you handle, like, it's the reason why you look good now. Like, you, yeah. you were, like, very no, good. No, but, like, even, like. Considering how the, bad you were. I you know how you everyone so always worse. says. But I gave you a lot of food. Like, yeah, yeah. No, no, I remember even food. afterwards, I was like, mate, I don't need this, this much food. But at the time, I probably didn't. No. But a lot of people will Restrict be on, like, say, 200 cal- two hundred carbs or something like that. Yeah. Then I just fucking eat loads of shit on top. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I gave you, like, you were back up. Oh, I was 650. Yeah. 650 carb, 400 carb on a rest day. Yeah, and, like, you were on a good amount of food. You were eating, like, 400 bit thousand calories. You yeah. had but the thing is, though, is, like, I wanted, to, I wanted to train, like, straight away. Yeah. Like, you were like, oh, don't train for a few days. I was like, oh, no, I'm going to train. Yeah. And you were like, okay, just do what you want. And I was yeah. like, okay, but then. I'd like jump in with like my mate sessions yeah. all the time because I was like, okay, I just want to train again. Yeah. I remember you saying to me on a check-in, I don't need to be eating this much food. And I was like, you do because if not, you're going to Yeah, I, did, I didn't understand at the time. Yeah. But looking back, it was probably the best thing to do. I think it probably yeah. it will probably is the best thing to do in that period. Oh, million percent. Anyway. If you're going to restrict afterwards, like you're you're only going to set yourself up yeah. to... Just go into a horrible cycle. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like that kind of mental state where like, again, you're 20-ish kilos up now and you are in like, like you look about five, 10 kilos up. Yeah. Like you're not shredded, but you're in very, a very good spot no. considering yeah. where you were, especially how battered you were. Was, if you had yeah. stopped prep at 83, 84, it wouldn't be a surprise to look like the way you did. Yeah. But sometimes <clears> it'll take a year potentially to yeah. put on that sort of let's say not like a lost muscle but to revive the look because it takes so long no I think like straight away after prep I was like right I've lost a decent amount of muscle my head was all over the place I need to get bigger yeah, yeah. and it was like straight away I was like I, I remember still... you saying like you wanted a new trainer mezzo within like a week and I was like oh no I wanted, like, I wanted it the next day yeah and I was like Josh please have <clears> a bit of fun like, I was just... like okay if you're not going to give me a training plan I'm going to do my mate sessions. I jumped yeah. in with like Ethan Zenith session like every single yeah, time. It probably did you good to yeah. just eat a good amount of food, yeah. have something to look forward to in the gym when it comes to like... That's it. All I wanted again numbers. was like a routine because like when yeah. you're in between shows, you don't really know oh, what you're awful. doing every single day. Yeah. And like, you know when everyone says like you don't know how, like beforehand you feel a bit like physically battered before a show. Then yeah. in between shows you feel a bit more mentally battered. And I didn't, I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Yeah. But then afterwards I definitely understood because you're like... You don't always have a straight plan until you've woken up and checked in with your coach or whatever. Yeah. And then afterwards, I was like, I just want to plan again. I just want to know yeah, what I'm doing. You're so set on routine, it's annoying, yeah. isn't it? When it's yeah. like yeah. each day changes a little bit based on how you're looking and stuff. Yeah. It is annoying. I remember saying that to you. I was like, I, I, like the, my only complaint really was I was like, I'm just fucking getting pissed off by the fact I just don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I just want, want to know. Structure, yeah. But you can't because yeah. you can't plan ahead. Like yeah. You can't be like, this is what we're going to do this week. Yeah. You can have yeah. a rough idea. Oh, I'm probably going to be filling up in three days. Yeah, but, but your body weight drops, you look flat, you train shit. You're like, all right, I guess I'm filling up now. Yeah. Like, I guess I'm filling up post-workout, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah, we're now in February, almost March. Uh, you're, like I said, 20 kilos up, training in a good groove, feeling good. Yeah, where's your, where's your, what's your goals? What, do you, what are you thinking? Um... I don't know, because I can still prep two years' time, early 2026 as a junior. Yeah. But I don't want to do junior shows anymore. I just want Because classic, you can only do classic juniors and two years. Yeah, I think if, if we were to do it, it'd be like, you do junior bodybuilding, but you have classic as your main aim. Yeah. And then, like, what's your weight cap's like now? Was It It was 88, wasn't it? So what's that push? Yeah, I thought it was 90 or so. Yeah, 90-ish, I imagine so. But I don't really know, like... I'd like you a few kilos off the cap. I think if you were yeah. to be next time you compete, you're like. But the thing is, like, I've got ages anyway, yeah. so I'm like, I'm not really that like stressed off. I'm still young. I've got plenty of things I want to do yeah. before then. Um, but if I was in terms of competing, like, yeah, I'd want to be like top end of like classic amateur cap. I think possible. I think the potential is there. Um, like, I don't think that's a bad show. And it's like I, I always mention like, oh, my waist is fucked. It always is if you're in off season yeah. but then like as soon as I'm started dieting mate you were hitting shots today like your abs and dive a vacuum and I was like oh you, you look very like yeah. your, your waist is still tight for where yeah. you are body yeah. weight wise considering the 20 well. yeah, yeah fantastic wasn't it yeah posing fitness I don't know what was worse posing fitness or your leg press my leg press was second set was sound it was okay it wasn't great it was, it was better, better. Yeah. yeah so yeah so goals probably I think if we were to be realistic I think back end of next year would be quite good yeah. so I think because that would keep the pressure on where it's not like two full years I think back end of next yeah. year would be good that yeah. would be, like let's set us up for another 14 months of growing potentially a pre-prep pullback I think a pre-prep because I think even though we kind of did do a pre-prep but it yeah, was I almost want, like yeah. I remember it was literally like three days before we actually started it I was like I want to diet for a holiday yeah and I think if say I didn't go on holiday in 2022 we probably would have dieted in like September, yeah. maybe. It would have been a bit and it would, we've started prep leaner. Yeah. Wouldn't have had to 
not push as hard, but like, also, I don't, I don't think, think we push. I think we're just pushing a decent amount for a long period of time. Yeah, I think, and especially like, if you look at how much food you're eating now and how your composition is, you operate well at this and you're lean. Like you're not, yeah. you're not fat. So I think if anything as well, to get into periods where you are soft and fat, pulling back aggressively, mm. probably gonna make more sense. So if I was starting prep at like this composition now, I would probably oh, maybe easy. Yeah, yeah. if you're on stage at like, probably like already 84, 85. Yeah. So, yeah, no, so it'll be exciting to see. Um, away from that, obviously, coaching alongside me. Mm -hmm. uh, you got your first prep client coming up. Yeah, it looks very good. Only, yeah, only, just, only got him last week. Yeah. Looks very good. <laughs> Such good coaching. <laughs> just your, your standard. Like we were saying, if it was a PCA show, he'd be like, first Oh, yeah, if, he, if it's a PCA show, he wins it. Yeah, which is, so it's um, just, wonder, what, like, wonder what shows he's doing and then in relation to kind of the standard. Because he's doing that. I've show. seen, yeah, it's a natural show. I know the Fed. I followed it the other day. Um,. While we're doing that, maybe. I we'll feel like Finn will know because it's a natty one, wouldn't he? IMBA? Whatever. Is it IMBA? Close. OCB. Yeah. OCB? Yeah. Of course he knows it. Fucking What's man. that like? Where would it, it go? Looks so it's quite common in... Is he American? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite common in America. Yeah. So now, exciting stuff to come. We'll get into the questions, mate, yeah. if you want. Sound. Yeah. Which show is he doing? Um, Ohio. It's week after... We set last weekend of May. Oh, Sanaya sorted the photos, by the way, mate. You know, the ones of us in the gym. Yeah. Right, so questions. Josh, you put a question box up, didn't you? you I did. That. Yeah. Got a, I've, got a, I've got a good solid five, maybe, I think. Okay, sad. Finn, you got yours? I just love LPs. Sorry, guys, for the silence. Hopefully everyone can just bear with while we're getting the questions up. Usually one person will get them up, but we're all... Um, we've got so it. many. Do you want to go first? Yeah, you go first, man. We'll let's, do, uh, let's do, like, quick fire, because okay. we've got quite a few to get through. Okay. And it's... Past seven. Okay, so why does Reese bully all his clients into gear? Who said that? Uh, Jake Byers BB. Uh, I don't. I got a question from Jake Byers BB. Is it the same yeah. one? No. no. Uh, I don't. I I consult and speak to them openly and say what the best plan is. Like realistically, people that come to me are probably people that are going to be thinking about it. Yeah. yeah. And as a result of that, people might associate it because the way the, the level I am as a coach is probably a case where they would have followed me and they think I want to take my physique to the next level. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. that sometimes does involve PEDs. I coach more natural guys than I do PED yeah. wise. Yeah. But I Not have. For <laughs> not for long all those natties that I coach I just look down I've got a list of like natty and every check in I'm like a bit of you test ready yeah, <laughs> you, you ready bro a bit of test would be good here um, but no I, I'll be I'll be straight up with any client I don't think I've ever said to anybody out of the blue you need to do this or yeah. I've just given them exactly what they need to know to be fair, I don't think you've ever mentioned decision. it to a client you didn't even mention it to me until I mentioned it to you Yeah, but I think that's almost like how, how, it how you be. need to yeah. be yeah, like, should never be like pushed on someone no yeah. Uh, Jake Byers BB asked, "How do you go about driving up food post pre-prep diet before prep?" High days. Um, yeah, I, I, like, I like the implementation of high days. Um, building up, let's say, having a high day, assessing kind of response, building up training day food slowly, keeping routine in, keeping cardio in. Also accepting that like it's probably going to be time frame dependent, but you don't want to be trying to get your food to peak off seasons, and you probably will mm -hmm. be even at the end of that phase still pretty hungry. Which, as it might be scary, you think, oh, I'm starting a diet, I'm starting a prep, and I'm hungry. But realistically, most people will probably be somewhat hungry, and therefore you're going to be leaner and then have less body fat to pull off. And maybe yeah, you still want to have an appetite at the end yeah. of that phase. Like The goal of that phase isn't get to peak off-season food yeah. or get back up to peak off-season weight. The I think then it's not really just throw food in for the sake of throwing food, and it's actually just making your training better if it maybe suffered in that little diet. It probably shouldn't really anyway. Yeah. But like more so just focus on your training performance and not just throwing food in. It's like in some point of like an off season, you'll be like, right, body weight's not going up, but I'm just going to put more food in because it's yeah. not going up. And you're not at the point where you look lean anyway. Yeah, exactly. Even if you maintain throughout yeah. that phase between the pre-prep and the actual prep, you'll be able to work up food pretty well. Yeah. You'll drop off yeah. fatigue from that and probably bring expenditure down a bit. But yeah, like high days, refeeds, I actually think it's good to, to actually keep them in at the start of the prep as well or like even have the day to where you can then probably have them in every like because you i know you, you have clients who have like just high days consistently like every week i think don't you i have people who like have yeah. them in on let's say weaker body part days yeah right yeah or like yeah. they'll have like back to back high days like a refeed every week even yeah. in an off-season setting based okay. on like their more demanding sessions yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I Pro- quite like problem it. Problem being a small natty, you get like 300 carb, you start spilling over. So it's like, <laughs> the high day, the yeah. high day is 300 carb. <laughs> the high day is 300 carb. <laughs> Medium day 150, low day no carb. Low day zero carb. Yeah. Um, Peak off season. <laughs> no wonder people just jump on gear and come to me. Yeah. Um, what sessions were more enjoyable? Both fat in progress works or the shed sessions? Well, Josh, unfortunately, you're not yeah. involved in this. The shed. Yeah, the shed definitely. I wasn't fat at progress works. I was skinny as fuck. I was like 90 kilos. I don't think I was fat at progress. No, you works. were prepping. Was yeah. this like what 2020? Yeah, we I'm, were yeah. fat when we trained in the Premier shows. I think he means Premier we were both very fat in Premier yeah. and Evo yes yeah Premier Evo I feel like warehouse. to be fair from looking in <laughs> every other gym, yeah. every gym I feel like looking in you know after like your 2021 prep yeah the time between then and like May the time between May, then and when I started prep our training was no but like May yeah. June of 2022 yeah like your training looked quite cool quite fun yeah definitely it was fun yeah, yeah it was but the shed session shit now He's yeah, fucking awful. Shed sessions. Four LPs. Yeah, four LPs. <laughs> He's fucking LPs. Fuck me. All right, come on. Quick, um, quick fire. Right, yeah, it's Josh's go. Um, Ed Arfit, me and his boyfriend. Um, oh, this, fuck, this could be real. Um, first ninety percent or last ten percent of a blowjob. Oh, last ten percent. First ninety is shy. What are you give him one? Give him one. Yeah. Oh, you are gonna give him one. <laughs> no, oh, shit, last, yeah, last ten percent. Um. Let's see. It's ten minutes long. Oh, so you yeah. got n- nine minutes and ten. And oh, nine, nine minutes. minutes yeah, yeah, nine, nine minutes, minutes and yeah. one minute. I'd do the. I'd, I think I'd do the nine. Can I do both? Yeah. <laughs> Can I do both? Uh, one hundred and ten. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the whole ten minutes. I'll take uh, one for the team. Next one. Uh, Jasper B fit eating challenge. Appetite enhancements are allowed. Josh versus Jack Eagles. Who's winning? <laughs> MK, Jack Eagles. So take take MK six seven seven. Yeah. You know what? You know the yeah. growth hormones for yeah. God. Yeah. That kind of obviously ramps up ghrelin and leptin. So that would I be. don't think I think my appetite is fucking embarrassing. I don't think it's bad, mate. I think it is, because even now I'm not Ramps hungry. up both ghrelin and leptin. Mm-hmm. Ghrelin and leptin, yeah, ghrelin and both one. Well, I think it's great. It, I, it, think it's, ja- I think Jack MK677 works upon your ghrelin receptor. So I think there's a synergistic effect, I'm pretty sure. You know, you've, you've never heard of MK677? Yeah, I've heard of it, but I'd be surprised if it ramps up. I'm not really looked into it. I'm much. pretty sure it, it works upon the ghrelin receptor. And I think which in makes turn, sense. Yeah, yeah, which in turn makes it, but I don't think it directly pushes up leptin directly without ghrelin. Does that make sense? I think ghrelin's the main driver. Yeah, which makes more sense. Yeah. Because if it bounces up leptin as well as ghrelin, it's probably just canceling out. Whereas yeah. Whereas if it dries up ghrelin, that makes more sense because you'd be more hungry. Yeah. I know it makes you more hungry from what I've heard. I've never actually taken it. I don't think it's, I think it's a horrendous compound. I'm not allowed to take it. No, I'm not allowed to take anything. <laughs> okay. I don't take creatine. Um, <laughs> did Josh meet the girl he was meant to see if it wasn't for the girl? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Okay, I'm moving sorry. on. Uh, what was the best prep moment for yourself and Josh? <laughs> what, was, what was our best prep moment together? Like, I'm guessing. Like, um, I like this chat we had after. Uh, you got a bit emotional. Soft bastard. Yeah, we're not going to mention that. Yeah, no, no, no. Upstairs, when, when I was... Uh, yeah, it was a nice chat yeah, about that like, was how nice things chat. Yeah. sort of are. Yeah, and how things... And, and all that I've done for you. Yeah. Yeah, that was nice. They brought me some shoes. Thanks. They were nice shoes, yeah. yeah. So that, that was a good... No, that was that was probably the best prep moment collectively. Yeah. Because that was an honest chat and that was nice. And you got a bit emotional if you didn't know. You got a bit emotional. I didn't cry. I did not you cry. Did, mate. I didn't you cry. did, You did. I didn't cry. There, no, there was no tear that came down my face. Yeah, but you... Pete Royals bit. asked us, yeah. can oh. you and Reese give JJ some dating tips? His brother <laughs> has zero game. Zero Riz. I've is been told that I've been told that my no, I've been told that my game is so shit that it's good. I didn't know this. Was yeah, a Josh, thing. I've heard you get a lot of L's. I ha- I know. Because LPs. You tell me. LPs. I don't. Say, I, I I don't do more LPs. That I've never taken an L. I've never. I've never like been rejected technically. You have, mate. I haven't, mate. The girl from CSN that you were telling me about, she went to a different boy instead of you. <laughs> <Got> cheated on. <laughs> Huh? Got cheated on. Yeah, but before she got cheated on. That doesn't mean that I wasn't she didn't with reject her. you. No, I wasn't with her. I yeah, didn't want she, to be. She, but she went to another guy. So? Yeah, it's <laughs> gone that. Yeah, it's, it's so, all right, mate. It's all it's right. Like, Josh, it's fine. All right, come on. Um, <laughs> Next one. If I'm through. not 220 off season, am I considered small? So that's 100 kilos. Josh was saying, I don't what, want to be. It? If you're not 100 kilos, are you considered small? Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Um, Alex Gan- uh, Cannings. Oh, he's small anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he's small. I'm joking, mate. Yeah. Not necessarily, but you are. You yeah. got to be. Uh, you got to be two twenty plus. Yeah, hundred kilos or or you're yeah. small. No matter how short you are, you could be five foot two. <laughs> if you're not hundred kilos plus, you're small. Yeah. But uh, if you could only do five exercises for the rest of your life, what would they be? Specific We've answered ex- this specific a million exercises. times. Josh, yeah. go for it. Um, stiff leg deadlift, a leg press if I can brace. I don't really know. A, oh, come on, a lateral, it... a, pr- um, a barbell press. What kind of lateral? Um, dumbbell, because it looks cool. And I think machines are boring. Profile, though, bro. What yeah. about the profile? Uh, I, I don't care. Can't be doing any LPs. <laughs> like, the dumbbell shit. drops off, so no LPs, bro. Yeah, LPs I don't care. I'll do it at the start of my session. It's still point. Start, no, but like you can't get any LPs, bro. 
You can't. They're just not, no, very, it's not very, very good. Yeah. I don't care. They're okay, like bar, yeah. barbell press. <laughs> barbell yeah. press. Low incline flat. No, like medium incline. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, you when you more. did it, planet. Yeah, okay. one more. Good. Um, Stefano deadlift. Mm. You've done, if you think I about do it. do some yeah. form of row. Yeah, I was thinking row. Yeah. If I had one in consistently, I'd probably say a barbell row because I want to put one in now. A what? Yeah. A barbell row. Oh, f- What's yeah, that? buddy row. Oh, yeah, buddy row. What? Um... I'll make that a real. Come on, I'm no, leg, press, leg press. Leg press. Like, a hack squat when I'm peak fat bastard. Okay. That one. When I, when I, when I go. Over a leg press. Yeah, no, peak fat bastard. So Josh, Josh. five exercises, come on. Um, Fat bastard leg press. Okay. No, fat bastard hack squat. Stiff leg deadlift when I'm a fat bastard. Um, barbell row. Barbell, barbell row. mid incline press and a lateral row. Or when I'm a fat bastard. Very like, they're, they're very like, Male animalistic movements. Yeah. Like, just very like. Yeah, I'd be doing um, such an alpha. single leg LPs yeah. on the Cyrex ham curling back hip flexion. Yeah. That'd be one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, next question. Um, Don't need to do it. Butcher's wet dream. Train four hours before bed. Should I stick the blue light blockers on mid session? Jesus Christ. Yeah. In all seriousness, I'd put them on as soon as I finish. Yeah. If you get, have <laughs> I, I, I can imagine Finn doing that. I can imagine Finn going bang then. Yeah. Immediately. It's like yeah. the anabolic window. As soon <laughs> as you finish, bang, protein shake. Oh, he's still actually nail the shake. But I, I can almost like imagine that. Finn finishing his last rep and being like this. No, he's put my glasses on. Yeah. yeah. Not looking at anything now. Don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to relax. <laughs> that's what I'm like as well. Ask Shannon. That's what I'm like. <laughs> I have my supreme sleep and like, she'll ask me a question. I'm like, I'm relaxed. <laughs> Just be quiet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Right, if you're not going to ask these questions, okay, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Um, you got to guess who it's from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much uh, food do you reckon you can eat? Top three pick and mix sweets. Uh, giant strobes with a blowing smoke emoji. So I think he says his yeah, top is what giant strobes. Like. What's a pick and mix? Like, if you like when you go to cinema and there's like the fucking oh, massive things. Yeah, sick. Um, I don't actually know what they're called. I haven't had pick and mix in years. Okay, the fizzy cherries. Yeah, che- the cherry cones. Big fucking massive snakes. No, 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 I like them. That's eight. That's awful. You're like, you're like eight years old if you like them, bro. Oh, Mentally, like, I am. Yeah. yeah. Mate, you like long things in your mouth. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. 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 No, I can't get my ass too I, tight. Okay. <laughs> right. I like the, the cherry, the fizzy cherries. Yeah, fizzy cherries are elite. They're the best. I don't really know many others. You, I can't the, think of you know any. The, if I was to see some, I'd be able to. Yeah, I think the, the cola bottles that are the fizzy ones that are like purple and blue. Yeah. I think they're all right. They're a bit too They're a bit I've too I've not had them in ages. I think they're a bit childlike then. Well, I don't know, mate. Yeah. I don't eat pick and mix. No, I, I can't think no, of I any. think the, the fizzy cherry cola ones, they're the, they're the best. All right, they're so the, them three the, times. Them three, yeah. I can't, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Yeah. Millie's boyfriend's asked us, what's your opinion on Josh getting on gear 1.5 years into training the, the dirty <laughs> cheat? If, I did, if, if he was doing everything that he should have been, yeah. then sound, but he's not even been taking the, creatine. Yeah. It wasn't a year and a half into training. You've been training for like... You, you I've been training since I was like nine months. Yeah. I've been training for about four years at that point. Yeah, which okay. granted, I don't think is that long anyway. No, but Ed, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> Ed, shut up. Uh, most bodybuilding friendly regular jobs. To be fair, I'd, I'd say when I used to work in CSN, yeah. I technically don't wear that now. Yeah. Um. In a way, I kind of say like you know people who work in like not re- kind of restaurants or like where you can track the food in a way because that kind of helps. It's okay. almost like just... Yeah, if you work at Nando's, yeah. Nando's yeah. is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. JP yeah. works at Nando's. Does he? No, I, so food focused. I thought... <laughs> he wakes up and he's like, time to go to work. I thought, he, I thought he did something for darts. Uh, he does. He helps his dad okay. out. Okay. Yeah. So I, didn't, I wasn't sure. So yeah, I didn't I think, see the darts. I think any, anything, like, I think there's obviously some jobs that are more difficult to like align with the bodybuilding lifestyle yeah. but like most jobs... I feel like most like desk jobs should be pretty sound. Mate, most yeah. jobs you'd you be sound. Like, yeah, it might not be optimal you might not be able to train exactly when you want but, but like, again though i think sound. for the most part like the bodybuilding lifestyle whatever you want to call it it's literally just knowing what you're eating and just preparing it the night before yeah, yeah. just get, get to the gym get good yeah. sleep. and having three hours of the day yeah. to just have a pre-workout meal post-workout meal drive to the gym train, yeah literally drive, sleep train and then you've got what yeah. but if you didn't call yourself a bodybuilder whatever, let's say you didn't want to compete but you still did an office job and you still went to the gym you're not really doing much different no yeah. it's not do you it's know not. what i mean like you're not really uh, not yeah. If I, anything, keeping busier actually is yeah. more beneficial because it means less time stressing out, overthinking your training, yeah. overthinking your food, yeah. worrying about if you're doing things right, 
thinking about your next meal like you just crack on with your work yeah right how many times using an insulin syringe before bidding it been doing after two <laughs> things definitely feel like it could be more uses though see you infinite ultra flex but never want to disturb you <laughs> imagine coming up and asking us that <laughs> anyway that ball is good um, oh, insulin wait, needles I've used this for a fucking month this one I've got here I've had it I've used it I haven't taken out my heart it's still there <laughs> it's blunt it hurts <laughs> um I find so who asked the question let's put up uh, the, how many times you use an insulin needle before bidding it let's, they're, I use so, one bang don't yeah they're so cheap they're yeah. so cheap. You could easily use it. I've used the same one accidentally, and it's fine. It's not going to be yeah. the end of the world. But also, they're so cheap. It's like, if you want to use one five times, <laughs> and by the fourth, you're like, it's so painful. <laughs> Crack on. Be my guest. But like, we're talking, what, £15, £20 for a pack of 100 Yeah. So let's say you do one a day. It's going to last like, you 100 days like, for £15. Again, this this might sound a bit rude, but if you're having to think to save money on needles, I don't think it's that. I think he's probably just like, I should keep it out. Yeah, just it's same. probably just like laziness rather than yeah. trying to save. Yeah. Yeah. Who asked that? I, don't, uh, I won't mention yeah, his name because he obviously say. sees his Ultraflex Derby and he doesn't want to disturb us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Do we laughs> know, try to think of what he dreams there. He's a, he's a lead singer of Coldplay. Okay. Um, Train with Spence has asked us Arnold Ohio predictions. Do you guys watch? I'm sure I've heard you say you're not fussed. I wouldn't say that we say we're not, no, fussed. not fussed. It's just no. that we, no idea. we're not the type of people to be like, we've got to stay up for the Olympia. Yeah. Like, no. We'll watch the I'm highlights. into bodybuilding. Oh, yeah, I'll watch it. I, I, I like, I, in, I consume bodybuilding content. I like it, but at the same time, I find bodybuilding shows really boring. Yeah. Unless yeah. you know someone there. I find them I find them good if you're there. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't tune into stay up to yeah. watch it. No. All. Like, if I was to give my top five open, I'm going to go Haddy, Samson, um, the other two, you know. No, Horse MD. I think he could be fourth or fifth or third. Like he's in that like third to fifth. James is up there. Um, I'd It'd say be James good to would see be James fifth. do well. Yeah, but yeah I, feel I think like James he's... will be fifth. Uh, who else? Am I? am I forgetting someone who's like a big hitter? The uh, the neck, the big he's neck, big neck, neck guy. Is not doing doing it, is he's he? not doing it. No, no. he's out. Um, uh, Antoine looks really good, but I just don't think he'll look in proportion. I think he'll be a bit smaller. And the rest, and but his condition's ridiculous. He looks really good. Um, I think that's it for the big names. Yeah, no, I yeah, we'll I'm, probably missed yeah, it. yeah. I'm trying to think off the top of my head if that's everybody. I think so. It's more so everyone's hyping up Hadi versus Samson. Yeah, I which think Hadi. I think Hadi will win. They will be the Sam, top Sam, two. Yeah, Samson second. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. I'd like Paul to see MD, Samson win. James Hollingshead. Um, yeah, and then I think Antoine like six, seven. They're the only ones that really ones that we were I saying. Weren't we? It's funny how people like disappear off the grid. You know, like we were saying that Martin Fitz guy. Yeah. Like everyone was like raving about him, mm. and then he's literally disappeared. Like I haven't seen yeah. any of his stuff for ages. Yeah. Oh, Ramon. Ramon's good. Yeah. Yeah. No. They're all good to be fair. Yeah. Justin Rodriguez, who's out of shape always, and then Andrew good. Jack. Andrew Jack. Yeah. Jack. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I totally He'll forgot. probably be third. It says here pending, but I don't think so. Yeah. Nathan De Rosa, Samson. Right. Yeah. That I'm sticking with my top three. But right. your question, mate? Uh, I've got a bit of a boring one. Uh, May's boyfriend again. Uh, what is recent Finn's opinion opinion on you supporting City since 2016? <laughs> you see, that's, that's that <laughs> it's one embarrassing. Yeah. It is a bit embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. But like, it's it's, it's fine because I take it and I don't get offended when like you say anything because it's like, mate, you didn't even support them until yeah. like ten years ago. I didn't even know who it was till last year when Mini competed. So. Really? No <laughs> one did. No one did. Yeah, yeah, no one did. It's like if I was to ask you who played for City before 2010, you'd be like, oh. fucking nobody. Yeah. Who was the, who was the bold attacking mid that you used to have? Stephen Island. Okay. Hey, who was yeah. the centre back? Who was your player of the year for like multiple seasons? Richard Dunn. Yeah. First. Oh, oh, shit. Who, I've done my research. Who was your Irish goalkeeper? Um, Shea Given. That's. Okay, <laughs> you know what? I take it back. That's actually. Uh, you, I genuinely didn't think you'd get. No. I think you'd. I thought you'd get Stephen Ireland. Yeah, but no. My my granddad was from. Like, north somewhere. Granddad, like, <laughs> so, he's like these are players from like no, ten years ago. No, but like, like no. So I started watching football, and it was like when I was like seven. Yeah, and then that yeah. coincided with them getting bought. So I was like, sounds cricket, wicked. Yeah. Uh, do you? This is from Millie's boyfriend. Oh, fucking do you, hell! Do you think Josh's phone lock screen is gay? It's just me and Reese holding my ass. Yeah, 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 I do. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yep. So, um, what's wrong with that? JPM VMT Cinema <laughs> Edition, blue, pink, or mixed Tango Ice Blast. <laughs> mixed. Wait, what? Blue, mi- blue, pink, or mixed? 
If you're not getting mixed, you're mental. Like, you just I get mixed. mixed. I haven't been to yeah, You just go, oh, I've mixed it. Imagine, I think if you were to say, can I, I have a pink eyes mask, they'd probably be like, yeah. I, well, I worked sure? there and it yeah. was like, I'm yeah. sure every. I don't think yeah. I ever made one that wasn't mixed. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, that's I mean. Even if they asked for one that wasn't mixed, I just make it mixed. Yeah, you make it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hot dog or nachos? Nachos. I think that's such an easy one. If you're yeah. getting a hot dog at the cinema, I won't get it either. I, I, I've, yeah. never, I've never, I've never get hot dog. nachos yeah. way so over a hot nachos, dog. Yeah, I've never had a hot dog. And then sweet like or salty popcorn? Salty. We do both. Yeah, I would get. <laughs> so I would get so mixed. Sinai gets mixed on that. Yeah. And then I'll always. I was gonna say Sinai gets mixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sinai gets mixed with me and Sinai. Yeah, me and Sinai. Not, not Shannon. No. Sinai. Yeah. yeah, Shannon gets mixed. So do you prefer sweet or salty? Oh, it depends who asks. I love salty stuff in my mouth. I love salty stuff. I love just having. I just have all the salt. Sometimes you put salt I don't want the popcorn. Can I just have all the salt at the bottom? Can I just lick it? Yeah, can you can, can I lick it off you? <laughs> Is it just me got questions now? Or? Yeah. I've got yeah, two more. Yeah. You had loads. I went through them all. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, go on. Got another one from Millie's boyfriend. <laughs> God's sake, he's keeping the podcast afloat. <laughs> yeah. um, name your penis using a famous movie title. Jaws. That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a film? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We'll make, it, we'll make it one. 28 yeah. days later, that's the film. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Goal? Goal. <laughs> yeah, good. Um, anyone else? I can't think of anything. Yeah. Baby driver? <laughs> oh, <don't get> <laughs> Baby driver. Oh, God. <laughs> that's what I call my penis. The baby driver. <laughs> That's the most friends ever laugh. That is good, that. <laughs> Loves a fucking paedophilic joke. I do love paedophilic. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, we're, we're, it was we're, we're all for We're, we're, all, we're, we're big advocates of paedophilia <laughs> on this no, podcast. No, paedophilia jokes. Jokes. Yeah, paedophilia. We, we're all we're big advocates of it. <laughs> <laughs> we're not really. Um, right, <coughs> last one. I got, I got one statement. Go on. From uh, Archon Lifts. Sorry if I didn't sign up for your coaching, so I'm not too... He's probably for me, probably probably for both of you as well. No, yeah, yeah. Mate, of course he's applied yeah. for it. He's uh, applied for me Josh with, before, I was yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's applied no. for me multiple names. He's, yeah, he's got basically, names. he realised he needed someone who specialises in gut health. So he went to Gulliver? Yeah. But to be fair, I could rearrange your gut if you want me to. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect way to leave your questions. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. All right, last one from Argon. <laughs> <laughs> Would shifting the hips back as far as possible help in hip hinges? And to a degree, also, yeah, buddy, Rose. Would shifting the hips back as far as possible help in hip hinges? Well, yeah, if you're trying to focus on more getting glutes. more through the glutes yeah. and the hamstrings, yeah. especially the hamstrings, then yes. Would it help more in yeah, buddy, Rose? It would make them more challenging because you'd be in more yeah. hip flexion, so you'd, your erectors yeah. would be challenged more. You'd but it be wouldn't more, be a yeah, buddy, row then. You'd be more parallel. Yeah, it would just be a bent over row. Yeah, or a a, an actual proper row. Wouldn't no. be a yeah, buddy, row. Yeah. It'd be fucking boring then. Right, that's right, that. Wrap it up. Josh, anything you want to leave us with? Um, I, my, my dick isn't called the baby driver. What? Well, it's such a difference. Yeah. You know, if you were to do like the start of the podcast, end yeah. of the podcast, do you feel like you're a different person now? Yeah. Do you feel like you've Don't like, get cancelled as soon as this goes yeah, up? Yeah, like I think you're going to drive home. This is the real got, me. You've got a long two hours of just thinking about what you said and how the impacts and yeah. just in future jobs because, you know, coaching your physique, no one's going to be yeah. telling you anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll sack you. I'll yeah, replace as soon you with somebody as he else. Sat, your yeah. your and life you is in his yeah. fingertips. And now, and all of us, and they're going to be showing. Somebody else in his fingertips as well. Yeah, and they're going to be showing, like, they're going to be searching up Josh Jenkins and being like, oh, God. We're not employing this person. Yeah. So, congrats. You've signed. You're, you're like, that's it for you, bro. Yeah. You're done. As, ha- as Gandhi said, hashtag YOLO. <laughs> this right. It's actually been a good podcast. Thank you for coming, mate. Uh, thank you for, yeah, thank you for coming. Good leg day. It's been a good day. Yeah. Um, Cheers. We'll leave it there. Other than that, guys, we have been blowing up. <laughs> blowing up. <laughs> we have been blowing up. We've got we've got over six hundred subs, and we were on five hundred like a couple of weeks ago. Let's get um, to, let's get us to seven hundred. Yeah, get us to seven hundred, and then we can have and the dream for a, a thousand, a thousand uh, Spotify followers as well. Yeah. So if you're not following on Spotify, I think you have to hit the. I think it says follow, or you hit the three dots. It says follow. You can give us a rating as well. Uh, five stars, please. So yeah, hopefully everyone's enjoyed. And if Josh. you go to the link in my bio, you can you go to Conte Sports and you can use Josh Ten at checkout. Thanks. Yeah, but you wouldn't. You'd use yeah. Fin Ten or Reese Ten before. And you? firstly, you'd actually the only reason why you've got Josh Ten is because of Reese Fit Ten. So yeah, still, yeah. Reese Fit Ten is too long to. Tie. Yeah, like Josh Ten. Plus, like ninety percent of people who follow me are like probably retarded anyway, so they probably can't count them. Can't much. say that. Yeah, you did oh, so well, Josh. You can't say. Reece I didn't do fucking well. <laughs> Sam, please block out that and just put once you're in your own over <laughs> Josh's face. Right, that's it before actually, we get ourselves cancelled. <laughs> yeah, anytime Josh speaks, just edit it out. I'm actually surprised, Josh. You did, you did better than I thought you would. Really? Yeah, I thought we'd have to edit out a lot. You've been fine. So, mm. yeah. 
Thanks for coming. That's, That's that. It. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.